Hi everyone, so in this video we're asked to figure out what the wage of an hourly wage of a job would be in tw by 2020 if it increased according to the consumer price index, okay? So the job paid 215 an hour back in 1960 when the consumer price index was 29.8. Um, as we know, we, we have paper money and so as paper money is being created out of thin air uh, over the long term, we usually have inflation, right? And, and pretty much all countries have paper money, so we're not, it's not just the dollar, as you know. And so, so you pretty much have a, a guaranteed inflation almost every year. And so um, the consumer price index by 2020 is 260.5, okay? So inflation is actually fine as long as your wage is keeping up with it or even outpacing it. As long as you're getting more money per year, that's more than the inflation, more than the cost of living, then, then life is good. But anyway, so, um, so to calculate this, it can be a little confusing. So I made up a pretend situation for you with easier numbers. Let's imagine that the 1960 consumer price index was 20 and the 2020 consumer price index was 100, okay? And let's say that the wage in 1960 was $2 an hour. Can you tell me off the top of your head, what do you think the wage should be in 2020 to compete with the consumer, to keep up with inflation? So see if you can figure this one out. It would be indeed $10 an hour. Doesn't that make sense, right? So, in other words, the um, price of things is five times more by 2020. Notice that's five times more. Watch, 100 over 20 equals what? Equals five, right? And $10 is five times more, right? So, in this situation, if the... Um, if a job paid, let's say, um, three dollars an hour in 1960, what should it pay by 2020? Well, it should pay five times more. So five times three is fifteen dollars an hour. Or if the job was paid, uh, let's take our two fifteen, then by 2020 it should pay what? Well, it should pay two fifteen times uh, five, right? So, uh, let's see. Uh, so, 10.75, right? All right? And so that's essentially it. So, so um, our formula could be, if you want a formula, you would go, let's take our 215 and multiply by this number over this number, right? And that gives us our 1075 because that's 215 times five, right? Um, and so similarly, that same formula will work. But I'm gonna break it down just for fun because um, if I go 260.5 over 29.8, so 260.5 over 29.8, I get 8.74 and so on, right? So, um, 260.5 over 29.8 is approximately 8.74. Okay, so we need the new job to be paying about 8.74 times uh, the 250, right? About eight, about almost nine times as much. You need to get paid almost nine times as much to keep up with the new prices at the grocery store and the new rent and the new health insurance and the gas prices and all the other prices that are averaged out in the consumer price index. So we go um, 2.15 times 8.74, right? So 2.15 times, and just to be accurate, we, you can put an 8.74, that'll work, but I'm just gonna be accurate and gonna go 260.5 over uh, 29.8 see that All right so so I'm gonna go whoops so I'm just gonna write that out for fun 2.15 times 260.5 over 29.8 there we go 
and that's eighteen seventy nine, eighteen dollars seventy nine cents. So if if a job paid two fifteen in nineteen sixty, by twenty twenty, it should pay eighteen dollars seventy nine cents per hour. About right.